morning and welcome to wake up hex i'm your guy kinetics so happy to see all you guys filing in here already so shout out to the community alan thanks for trolling me in the chat box in the troll box yesterday brother finn bear larry o t bird holer i just don't even want to say your first name there bk das bomb we got nick manis what's up brother thank you so much for holding down the chats as well reminding everyone to like subscribe and share this out to all of their friends Hexican Girl, Downhill Swimmer, IWTBF, Crypto Journeyman, Crypto Bobcat, my brother. What's up, buddy? Spike, man, what's going on? Mel Tony, looks like we're going to get some price updates today, guys. We got Enoch, SE, Crypto King, Gam, uh, Hexy Quinn, D Hexistentialist, Dorsey. We got uh, Joanne Smalle, Your Excellence, Heartbeat, David Hoke and ron e that is so good to see all of you guys in here already thank you for the 60 that have already jumped in and joined us i just wanted to say today thank you richard let's give a round of applause for everything that richard has done um it was really cool of him to show up to the conference yesterday and i got to watch the first hour of him talking i uh, just started watching from where i left off last night uh, it's just a being a family man, I, I'm not going to put even Richard Hart himself before the family. But on my free time and while I'm working, I can listen to him in the background and uh, plan on doing that today, catching up on everything. It uh, looks like a lot of the guys there had a lot of fun in Vegas. And uh, thank you, Richard Hart. Rip you too. 
<laughs> All right. That's uh you're gonna have to maybe I missed something, man. Maybe maybe I didn't I haven't been spending enough time on Twitter, so I don't know what you mean by rip YouTube, but uh uh oh Richard Hart YouTube is down again. Oh, you're freaking kidding me. Of course it is. Dude. So Richard's channel is banned again. Ah, oh, frick. I had no idea. So I haven't been I haven't tried to get in and look at anything on his channel as of late. Um Yes, thank you, Crypto King. Roger Veer was a huge surprise for Richard. That was really cool. Um, gatekeeping's real, guys. Um, if you're not one of the pro coin projects that comes from within the existing cabal within the industry, and your exchange or your service provider... Um, that touches Web3 or digital assets isn't hailed down upon upon on high by the kingmakers themselves. There's a there's a it, it, there's a lot of extra roadblocks and a lot of extra speed bumps and hurdles and everything else that you have to overcome. Um, Wales and I have learned this very much the hard way. Um, tough man, tough. Um, Let's just let's just go forward as a concerted effort as a community and work together. I know there's a lot of personalities, a lot of alphas within that the hex community, but this attacking each other shit isn't going to get us very far, guys. We got to work forward step in tandem. And the funny thing is is there's a lot of that yeah, yeah, we support the community. Uh, uh, in the forward facing front and then there's a lot of backstabbing in the back I, I hope that shit can just go away guys we have a much bigger enemy than than the perceived threats within this community this community ain't shit when it comes to powerful players i'm just gonna throw that out there right now so we need to rally together to face these tougher enemies and these tougher opponents um I haven't spent any time on Twitter as of late. It's just, it's become such a cesspool as of late that everyone's attacking themselves, this community and infighting. And I really hate to see that crap because guys, we have real enemies out there, real enemies. Forget what, what this one streamer said to this other streamer. And now the beef that's going on there, like me and Wales have just been, keeping our head down and just working. And I know there's other um, there's other guys in the community too that have, RG has been working way harder than you guys know. And we're trying to overcome these obstacles and these hurdles, guys. It is tough out there. They don't like Richard Hart. They don't like Hex. And they don't want anything to do with, with us succeeding, guys. So we've been, we've been doing a great job of succeeding. But if we keep a house divided cannot stand, guys. We need to come together and we need to push forward the initiatives that are actually going to push forward the the actual ecosystem and this vertical integration. Stop fighting with each other. If someone's farther along in the same project that you wish you were in or you have started, join forces with them. Don't freaking try to fight them and talk trash behind their backs and, and or on Twitter. That's not healthy, guys. There's literally a concerted effort effort to come after us as a community, guys. And and crypto as a whole, we're just we're just even more outcast than crypto as a whole. So we really need to come together, guys. So again, going back to what I was saying, let's give a round of applause to Richard because what he has built is immutable. He has built this amazing community. We and, and and regardless of all of our problems, no community is perfect because it's filled with people. That's the problem. But regardless of that. We, we are probably by far the best community out there in crypto. Uh, it's the best community I've ever been a part of anywhere, inside and outside of any industry. So we're really lucky to have each other. We're really lucky that there's so many smart individuals and so many skilled and talented individuals within the Hexican community. Um, we just need to rally around the, Richard's message. And we don't need to put words in Richard's mouth, okay? He said it very plainly himself, and there's a lot of people speculating. What would Richard do? As much as I love Richard, he ain't Jesus, guys. We need to freaking come together, and we need to push these things forward. So thank you, Richard. Round of applause. Golf clap here. Golf clap. Thank you so much for what you've built. It's our time, guys. It's our time to take what he's built 
and move forward. He's always said that the community needs to be the ones to build on top. That's us, guys. We're doing that. We're doing it. And with your help, we can get a lot more accomplished. So enough with the family feuds, guys. Let's get to building because we got real enemies. With that being said, let me bring up Das Baum, Peter, and Wills only. What's Hello. up, gentlemen? Thank you, Ballet Brand, for the $33. And no message. Wills then told y'all. <laughs> yeah, people thought, well, it's funny, right? Because my message has been consistent since I started streaming. And it stays consistent a year plus later. And now people like Kinetics are just reverberating what I've been saying since day one because now they're seeing it in real time how the shit works. It's not a joke. It's not a game. They're not friendly to us out there, guys. This is not... We've been shut... Many a doors have been shut on us throughout the, the process of the things that we're building, guys. Many a door has been shut on us. So... Um, we, we don't like to air a lot of the stuff because it's, first of all, the gossip isn't going to help anything. And second of all, we don't want to soil a potential business, um, partnership in the future with the, with some of these vendors. So there's a reason we don't say a whole lot guys. So Bally at brand again, thanks for that $33. Bally, I just want to say, since you are watching right now, you are so natural and and do such a great job of explaining or um, just the way that you can express yourself in person. It's even more natural than you are on your streams, man. I love it. We need to see some more in-person speeches and talks by Bally at Brand. And I have a feeling that's going to happen in the future. So thank you, sir. Hats off to you. You're one of those community members I was talking about last Tuesday that does nothing but exemplify and lift up and build this community thank you so much brother you deserve that oh nice so the sandstorm youtube channel i think i i started watching one of his videos i think he's a it's great it's like three point five thousand subscribers that we're getting in front of thanks to sandstorm that's cool that he's been doing a week-long hex series that's great um I don't Joker know. Was on the Maybe live someone. Oh, that's time. cool. Maybe someone can can fill us in on the details that was there at Vegas. I again, it's not about the, it's not about the the gossiping behind the scenes. It's about you know having eyes on the ground that can actually speak to this stuff. And I wasn't there, so I have no idea. Yeah, Joker was there. That's cool. That's good. I'm glad. I'm glad we had some representation there. Did you get digit, bro? <laughs> he was getting all kinds of numbers, getting all kinds of digits from people. I'm just going to go through these guys, try to catch up a little bit. Yes, Sensei Doze, it is a great day to be a Hexican. Love it. I love it. Hey, thanks, brother. Appreciate you. Um, Sorry I didn't introduce myself this week, but you were busy. Yes, I'll bet he was. He's probably being swamped by all the Hexicans. Yes, Se, I like this comment. Hex does not care about your feelings. <laughs> Hex does what Hex does. <laughs> what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, as they say. That's hilarious. Um, hey, thanks again, Valley at Brand. I'm trying to catch up. I know I'm super far behind. Hi, Annette. Thank you. I appreciate you. I really do. Yeah, no Twitter, no Facebook. It's a better life. I've been a lot more productive not spending any time on, on Twitter this last two weeks. All Stay away is, from it altogether. Yeah, right. Well, I, I'll I, repeat I, it I again. Just post your stuff that you want to post. Yeah. And the people that want to read it will read it. Just yeah. stay away from the drama. And <laughs> yeah. Swimmer Papa B uh, didn't take his uh, still softness. So. His, his fur at all. <laughs> he's he he's he clogged somewhere. Fall. He didn't flax flex like he was supposed to. Oh, man. Where's that <laughs> flaxseed oil, bro? You need to lube them intestines next time. Shout out to Papa. <laughs> yeah. He's doing the work. Also a lady killer, evidently. Who knew? Love it. Brand hammer. <laughs> My he's guy. Been the, he's been the brand hammer, though, right? <laughs> yeah, he has been. Yes, a little bit of simping going on. But, you know, I, I, I can't compete with the captain. The captain's been taking down everybody else off the stream so he can have one-on-one -on -one time with Bran. 
for a very, very long time. So I think that I think that relationship has been courted before I could even get in there. So dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Chance. Uh, Valiant getting real the other day, bringing the heat. Much respect. We, we love Valiant around here. Yeah, you know, it's, it's it's sad, right? Because we have actual enemies, like you said, that, that literally do not want us to succeed, yeah. right? And and this is being stated as a community, not as any one particular individual per se. Uh, as a community, they don't want us to succeed. So how do we make it happen? We make it happen by being in lockstep and being immovable. I mean, if you haven't seen the movie 300, go watch it. The shit is real. Yeah, That's exactly how it works. Power in numbers. And when everybody is in line with the same mission, you can't lose. Yep. Can't lose. I mean, this is this is what was so powerful. This is what's powerful about any time that we crowd raise, crowd, you know, fundraise anything or decide to do anything as one community, as one unit. We're literally unstoppable. Imagine if we tackled everything like that and ignored the noise. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because because so, social media isn't a bad thing. This is my point. Because we all found each other through what? Social, social media. media. Yeah. So let's not dismiss the utility of social media just because there are some clowns in the mix. What yes. needs to happen is that the clowns need to be ignored. They need to be shunned. They need to be ghosted because when you're a clown, well, shit, you should be treated as such. Well, if you, if, 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 first of all, if you're a petty individual and or you got nothing better going on in your life, those are the people that engage in the Twitter fights and the social media fights. The rest of us that are busy with real things going on, like we just don't have time for that. I don't have time to play those those games. It's those aren't those aren't even addressable. They're not even worth addressing. It's and people are allowed to have their opinions, and that's fine. And they can obloviate their opinions all over Twitter all they want. I just don't have time to respond to it. And I hope most of you guys are willing to to put in the work to help make this thing go viral and stop. And if you if, if you got opinions. Just be respectful about it. Don't do the don't do the personal uh, disrespect. Don't you don't need to make the insults personal, guys. You just don't you don't like something. You don't like something. That's all you need to say about it. Now you've got your view out there. The infighting does not look good to other communities that want to come into Hex. I've had a few friends of mine say, man, with everything going on on Twitter. I I don't know what you guys are doing in that Hex community, but I guarantee you it's keeping them away. So it's just not even worth the, the battle. You pull the 300 with the shield wall and we go up against these regulators and we go up against these cabal within the industry that already exists. We can actually get something done, guys. There's three guys that I know working on legacy finance stuff that have been pushing back against the norm and getting a lot done. But I'll tell you what, it's not been an easy battle. It has not been an easy battle. And there is gatekeeping outside the space as well as inside the space, guys. We need to have the solidified message. We need to come together. Fuck your feelings. Fuck using your feelings to attack people personally. If you got something you don't you don't like, fine. Respectfully put it out there. Let there be a real discourse about it. Have, have some kind of discourse about what you think the merit should be. And stop with the personal attacks, guys. You guys are attacking your own fucking family. It's enough. It's enough. We got real enemies, man. And I'm not kidding you guys. I don't even want to say their names and bring them to the to attention, but these are not enemies to be trifled with. We got real shit going on, guys. This is yeah. we they don't want to see us succeed. I'm I know I'm just kicking that dead horse over and over again, but it's well, really important. It's simple, right? I mean, it's, these are things that we've been talking about. So if you look, if you've ever heard me stream, ever, I guarantee you, I have alluded to what kinetics is talking about in one way shape or form because no matter whether you use fiat or crypto there is somebody in the way trying to stop you or trying to extract value from you that they shouldn't be trying to extract or they're trying to invade your privacy or whatever the case is long story short they're not looking out for your best interest this is a fact hashtag middleman well it's not even just middlemen it's the system it's bigger than just middlemen. People need to realize that the whole thing is the problem. It is not just middlemen. Middlemen are a symptom of the system because that's what we've allowed. Why? Because everybody, the system is designed to incentivize people to specialize in one aspect of something, not multiple things. 
So this is why everybody's ignorant to a lot of things that they should not be ignorant to, like their finances, like why they pay taxes, right? Like how well, laws get made. I all of these think, things, all, all, they're important for all of us to know. They are. They are. We they live are. in this society, do we and not? And here's another thing, guys, and I think it actually accentuates what you're saying there, Wales, is not everybody has a special, uh, an expertise or a specialization in the same things that the next person does. So. Right. You guys need to get real with yourselves on what you're strong on and what you're weak on and lean on those who are strong on what they do and lean on and have them lean on you for the things that you are strong on as a community. That's what makes us better. If everyone tries to build up their weaknesses, we're going to be mediocre on everything. But if everyone focuses and leans into their strengths and know and realizes what they're weak at and they let someone else that's stronger in that other area to handle that part, man, we can't lose, literally can't lose. So Robert Kiyosaki said it best. He says, you know, one thing I hate about the education system is they expect you to know all the answers. When you're taking a test, they call it cheating when you look off of someone else's paper. In the real world, that's not how things are done. Real businesses thrive and succeed because teams are put together with special expertises of people that can do things that other people can't do. I can't put together video and animations like Beardly down here can. I can't put together, I can't put together Beardly, charts. I told you. Yeah, that's right. Beardly <laughs> done told you. Wales can put together TA charts and quant stuff that I have no idea how to do. I know how to do marketing and I know how to do business administration and I know how to get out there and I know how to negotiate in the boardroom. So we d rely on each other to do the things that we are strongest at. I don't try to do animations. Fuck that. Why would I imagine waste my that. time? No. <laughs> imagine why, imagine me why doing that shit. In a, like, why would on, I bro. sit in the boardroom when Canadians can do it? Yeah, that's right. That's crazy. right. He, he'd rather be out there putting together, uh, putting together some cool presentations and freaking surfing all day. That's which, it. Can okay. tell you that's not bad. Doesn't sound so bad. <laughs> not a bad deal. Right? <laughs> Good idea. Thank you. But I mean, the point <laughs> you're trying to make yeah. is we all succeed when everybody thrives. Yep. In their own environment. Yep. Right. Hundred percent. I mean, I'm I'm important because I do what I do, and you're important because you do what you do. Peter's mm -hmm. important because he does what he does. Markable's important because he does what he does. Same thing for Das Bomb, right? Jay everything, right? Everybody in this community that decides to put value on the table, guess what? You're a stakeholder in the future of this, of this thing that we're trying to build here. It doesn't matter exactly what you do. What matters is that you do something and that it's good when you yes. do it. It's a net positive, as Richard said yesterday, that things we do are net positives. Love That's that it. K4K said he us here for an, uh, yeah for, yeah we're here together for the next at least the next fifteen years. It's reassuring for newcomers that there will always be support from the community. Can you pull up the other one, the other oh, yeah. super chat? Thank you, Crypto Gammy, for the nineteen ninety nine. Keep preaching the important truths, guys. I love Crypto Gammy, freaking such a supporter of this channel. Yes, um, and 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 I love I I love the financial support. That is freaking awesome because it helps us pay the bills and helps us pay all the people on the back end that do all the editing. And the social media management and all the other stuff but more importantly it's the the the, the kind words said in the dms outside of of the chats that keep us motivated guys knowing that you guys support us regardless of what happens especially when there's fud in the community so um nick manis thank you i didn't <laughs> i don't deserve any award so i and i clearly put that in the in the uh in the chats uh, I think that or definitely should have. I don't think it should have been split between me and RG. I think it should have been one leadership award. And I think it should have been RG because that guy pulls together a community better than anybody else. Yeah. But with that being said, Wales got an award for being Mr. TA. Mr. Not not TA, Mr. TNA. Yeah, that's right. You heard right <laughs> I'll <then>. take that <laughs> one. <laughs> Preferable uh, to the TA award. That's for yeah, sure. Yeah, <laughs> the TNA. Ooh. Kinetics. What, what what you said about the community? I uh I went, I'm rewatching the uh Richards uh plays in the uh in the conference and in the QA he said that every day, all day, he gets only hate, but uh when he comes to the uh hex events, it's all all love. Mm -hmm. And that, that that has to be frustrating to get like yes. it is. It is frustrating. I don't experience it near the level that he does, and it's frustrating at the yeah. level I deal with it. So I yeah, mean, absolutely. With what we're trying to do, we experience it on a regular basis. But imagine it's all directed at that one person. We're yeah. just experiencing it oh, like yeah. in a secondhand form. 
Yep. Right? Like, it's all directly pointed at yep. him because he's fucking up the flow of things. Yep. If if it had been the Kingmakers on high, um, Golden Boy Vitalik that had created this project, do you think we would have had any of the issues we have trying to get the things that we're trying to set up set up? No? Nah. It'd get, be green light all the way through, man. It's the personality behind this amazing innovation and this amazing So Richard tech. is making this harder. Hmm. Did it? Yes, yes, but not not no. not by his own yeah. fault. Nah, Richard, yeah, it's, 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 it's not Richard's joking. fault. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. But it's it's, it's it's funny, but it's also not funny. You know, because exactly. Funny. Yeah, we should, we should fire him. <laughs> <laughs> Richard, you're fired. <laughs> fired, Richard. But it's not his own I'm fault. Sorry. It's because he speaks truth and facts, yeah. and people don't like facts. They don't Correct. like when their bads bad. It wouldn't are matter credited, if it was even if it's not. true. What he's yeah. saying. People don't like the truth, man. That's the problem. People don't, don't like the truth. Don't. I mean, I don't yeah. think. Speaking it of this, Richard. Richard Hart just Twitter tweeted about this. Everybody, go and retweet. Uh, YouTube creators at YouTube, like, retweet. Go back the middle, man, because we have add to. YouTube and YouTube we'll creators into your retweet, so they unban him. Just Let's talk about this because this is important. Get, get the word out so right. they see it. Why is it that we act like we don't have to be beholden to middlemen when that's the world that we currently live in? In what world or in what aspect of this world is it possible for us to act like we don't have to engage with middlemen in any shape, way, or form? No matter what, you're touching middlemen. Social media, Twitter controls what you do. YouTube controls what you do. Those big tech companies control everything you do. Because if you do one thing they don't like, you no longer have access to that platform. I hope that's clear. Because people like to act like, even in crypto, like they really have decentralized access. We all don't have decentralized access to nothing. Period. So people need to stop pretending like they do. Because even when it comes to getting crypto, the only way to interact with these networks is by doing what there's only one entry point for 90 percent of the population and that's a centralized exchange you don't have any option outside of that so what does that mean that means crypto is not decentralized it is not what it's supposed to be period because you can't just take your card and say uh i'm gonna use this wire thing or this transact thing or whatever on-ramp mechanism you want to put into into the into the blank and pay for that crypto transaction it's very few the actual number of people that can do this as a percentage of the population and i mean the population in crypto not even globally yeah right even a smaller subset even the smaller subset so mm -hmm. this is how you know what is going on and i've been saying this for a long time you know, how are we going to actually get across the Rubicon? Where are we going to get to a point where things are actually decentralized peer to peer? Right? Maybe with referees, but not with middlemen. Because the problem is incentivized middlemen. The system is designed to work that way. Everything. Driving a car, you need a license. Driving a motorcycle, riding a motorcycle, you need a license. Boat license any motorized vehicle licensure however what still happens well you're still liable to die when you go outside and drive somewhere or ride any vehicle so is licensing really protecting you no nope. no it's not it's just another form of extortion and this is just one of the many facets of extortion that exist in our society present day the question is why because we receive no net benefit from it it's all net negative where's the benefit point it out because it's not the roads it's not the bridges it's not anything because everything is clearly a farce infrastructure is falling apart globally wherever you look everything is trash it's no it's not all bad hold on, it's, hold it's on, back and on. forth it's you, you stride on you too far to one and side what? and then to the bomb. other side hold on you can't speak for yourself you have to speak generally generally shit is fucked up people out here are not eating that's a fact. That's not an opinion, bro. And it ain't my life. This is not what I'm living. 
I'm telling you what I'm seeing others going through because that's really what's going on outside. We are fortunate. We are the few. You can't speak for yourself. You have to speak to everyone's reality. People need crypto and they don't even know it. That's a fact. So no, I'm so maybe I'm not getting your point, but um, I'm comparing, um, let's say, Germany to um, I don't know in India. That's that's what um, right, where I see. And in, in terms to licensing of of cars, for example, it's all uh, in Germany you have a very very Stringent regulated process. Yes, but that's just yeah. Germany. That's not anywhere else, bro. So again, no, it's, it's, all it's not everywhere. But it's yeah. it's not like you said. Everything is trash. Everything is breaking down. That's not true. Maybe most, but not everything. Germany is trash. So you can just keep it moving. You're trying to make an invalid point. The, the system is broken down. I'm sorry. You're talking about one little aspect of it. Fact remains. You're not so, trying and to I don't get your at. point. Like, what are you talking about with licenses? Like, that's just one. All of the licenses. That, yeah. Every yeah. Time actually, pay, yeah. Every dude, time all the licensing. Trust me on that. Yeah, yeah. Everything, bro. So even to have a business, you need a license, and you must yeah. pay, sir. Yeah. Hmm. You want to put a fund on a on a stock market with a no. ticker symbol? You want to talk about licenses? You better be a millionaire. Yeah. <laughs> at a minimum. Yeah, this, this is not game an is entrepreneurial rigged, society. This no, is this, not a capitalist society. This, this game fake, is rigged bro. so that only wealthy people can get wealthier. That's that's just the way it is, man. And we're trying to change that, but man, it is an uphill it's freaking hard. battle. It is it's not hard. an easy battle. Imagine if we have someone such as yourself, which is intelligent enough to ascertain what I'm saying, and you still are psyoped into thinking shit is okay. It's not okay, bro. Period. Up and down, it's all wrong. It doesn't matter what the requirements are. It's asinine because even at the end of the day, guess what? Your ass is still liable for your livelihood, even if you paid for that license and it cost you 3,000 euros. So you should give more of a fuck. You shouldn't have to pay. The whole psychology is backwards, bro. And this is why we always lose. We continue to put our livelihoods and our futures in the hands of others that don't have any incentivization to make it better for us. It's completely asinine. These are the things that we have to literally sit here, talk about, break down over time and try to come up with better solutions. Because fact is, I don't have them all. Nobody has them all. However, collectively, I'm pretty sure we can find some gangster ass shit to pull off and get away with. Because guess what? I'm pretty sure people would like to live a little bit better than they do right now. Just a crazy thought. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty sure most people will probably agree with that state, with that statement. So I'm going to move on because that is 100% correct. But man, you started to bring me down, bro, with Sorry, this reality bro, but shit. Yeah, this it sucks. Shit. So it let's sucks. go back to <laughs> let's go back to the things that we can be positive about because we need to join hands and I don't mean kumbaya shit, but I mean we need to actually come together and work forward towards the things that are worthwhile in this world that, and overcoming these injustices. But first, I think we need to all, we all need to come together and maybe just, so there needs to be some solidarity. Um, Crypto King, I like this. I know I'm way far back in here, but I wanted to pull this <laughs> up. And I think this is a great way that we can actually start to do some of this stuff is um, April wants to get the Hex Workshop set up at the Float Fest next month. Um, they are a free speech movement platform so i really like that if anyone would like to help out please reach out to april is that um which april is it is that hod pearl or is that april um um miss wonder woman herself so let us know on that they are doing a really cool like five day camping venture or four day camping venture in with uh floats and or not just floats i'm sorry uh but um uh, they're going to have merch and different thing, booths set up and things of that nature. It'd be really cool for Hex to have um, some kind of presence there. They've got some decently sized names on their platform already. So it'd be really cool to uh, kind of cross promote platforms over there. So, yes, we need to get Papa be a life alert. Yes, we can. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Health check. Oh, man. Senior health check. <laughs> <laughs> Senior health check. Um, 
Too funny, man. By the way, on this this front, the Richard Hart um, channel being banned, I just put the Twitter link in here for Richard Hart asking YouTube and YouTube creators to fix that. So if you guys wouldn't mind clicking on that link and just retweeting and commenting on that just to make sure that they see it. It seemed to work last time. This yeah. is and make sure to add, add YouTube as well. Yeah, uh, YouTube is... creators and YouTube. Yep, this both of them. Yeah, Peter, it's good seeing you, buddy. Topic. Yeah, you just now, quick, quick bye. Uh, I have to go. Later, <laughs> brother. Sorry, see you later. Bye. bye <laughs> yeah, this is how we ended up on this topic I in the first Peter place. Already. <laughs> yep. I I download all episodes like I have just in case I have a folder and and the backup of that folder on my backup so I have all the episodes of Richard Hart for my convenience and my uh fun times I like to rewatch them every now and then um I Those I think even if times. even if YouTube channel uh, his YouTube channel is deleted he has all the data in, in his own PCs on his hard drive somewhere. He can re-upload everything. And there are uh, other platforms that we can go to. So mm. we are- Just I, all the eyes gonna, are in YouTube. I know right? that the eyes are all going to be on YouTube, but there yeah. are other platforms coming up. And the one yeah. that first comes to mind is the one that Linus Tech Tips is creating, Floatplane. He is trying to get away from all this, um, corporate structure and nepotism which uh, exists in YouTube. Yeah. He he wants to make the creators uh, the real powerful people on the platform L like it was supposed to be with YouTube that's why it's called YouTube, right? Mm -hmm. But it didn't turn out uh, as a YouTube. It became I don't know, Their corporate tube. tube or something. Their tube, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what it ended up with. Yeah. Um well yeah, Floatplane could be one of those platforms where we can move to as a, yeah. all, all of society, not just Richard Hart, but in the future, how it is built up right now. I kind of like that float. I, I looked into it. I had meetings with the the owner, the CEO, and the owner, and the um, and the co-creator, him and his wife, and uh, one of their CTOs. And it's a pretty cool little platform. I think they they're going to have to make some UI upgrades, and I think they're working on that right now. They're building a new infrastructure for it, so it can handle a bigger uh, base of usage, but I, I, I'm a big fan of the float, uh, program too. So if you guys want to go check that out, Chad Donnerschwanz, if you're in your early twenties, that may be debatable, my friend, <laughs> <laughs> I just may be your real dad. <laughs> On a long enough timeline. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. If you're older than 25, there's a good chance your statement's correct, but All right. if not, mind <laughs> yourself. <laughs> I think mm. Kinetics is my father. Uh, <laughs> yes. He your mother, your mother beard, has an amazing beard. I was instantly attracted to it. Right? And that's where that's, you got your beard from because it wasn't from thought. me. It wasn't yeah. from me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, man. But this is what's hard about this whole censorship thing, right? Like, we want to be where all the eyes are. How are you where all the eyes are when you can't be there and say what you want to say. I know. Like, but like that's why we are making copies of Richard Hart. Right. We, we but... are the copies. We are the, the distributors. Exactly. So they'd have to ban all of us. Basically, we are the decentralized system mm -hmm. with all the YouTube channels popping up, with all the YouTube creators popping up, with other YouTube creators that uh, are not hexagons, so to say, but they cover hex. This is everything. All of this is a recreation of Richard Hart. Basically, the way you can imagine it is that you don't exist as a person, mm -hmm. but rather you are you are the embodiment of an idea that's tra transpire tra transgressing. No, what's the word? Um, transmitting through you. Tra transmitting through you. Yeah, you humans are like a vessel, and we are filled with different ideas. We go through them, we analyze them, and then the ideas that are worth it, they win out and are usually transmitted to the next person or to the next generation. Yeah. This is how it happens. And the same yeah, it's happens not adopted with, by the generation uh, in which it was presented yeah. to. Yep. Yeah. I agree with that. I and do. usually the best ideas work out. And this is why Hex and Richard Hart's ideas are propagating. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I, I love putting all ideas in the marketplace of ideas. 
honestly. So there's people who are like, oh, well, some speak is dangerous. I disagree. I think it's better to let the weirdos come out and and so they can it's highlight and stuff. moonlight themselves yeah. as the weirdos out there. So that's why I like free sp- speech platforms because, yeah, there are going to be the white supremacists and the Nazis and the the, the, the people that – the eugenics people that want to get rid of different races and they think their race is better. I want to know who those people are. I don't want them living in the shadows and propagating where they're not seen. I'd rather, I'd rather they be right out in the open where everyone can see it because that I'm going to tell you 99% of the time, people are going to make the right decision and not follow those people just because they have a small following. Doesn't mean that there's that, that by any means is a large uh, section of the population buy into the nonsense that they're spewing. So I'd rather them expose themselves personally. Yeah, I don't mind free speech. I think uh, knowing where people stand is important. I never I never hold my tongue. I think it's important for people to know where others stand uh, because exactly that reason. I mean, you want the shade to be exposed. You yep. want the sun to hit everything because yep. this is the only way we're going to actually find progress because this means there's always going to be some duplicitous actor trying to undermine the good deeds that we're trying to accomplish here. So 100% agree with you, Kinetics. Thanks, brother. So are we touching middleman D? It must be talking about those legacy finance products. <laughs> nah, and we ain't. Finbear, That's the problem. And Finbear <laughs> says, only with a poking stick, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to keep it even far away from that, honestly. But, well, let's, uh, figure out, let's figure out how we can – maybe uh, Hexo does a lot to help Richard's channel. Maybe if we can start, I don't know if they've already tied it to Odyssey, but Odyssey is kind of a really neat program where when you go live and you and you upload a, a a video or a stream, then Odyssey, if it's tied to your YouTube, will automatically download it as well. So it'll be propagated on that other platform. It's very crypto friendly. It used to be library. Um, D Live, someone else said here, is not guys. D Live very much will curate. Who gets to, to to say what on their platform? They shut Joker down off the platform because he stood up against the the whole. Uh, um, I don't even remember what the name of those guys are. They not even worth the time to remember. But um, he had a big battle with them, and they were they were literally libel and slandering him. But they had a bigger audience than him, so D Live um, kicked Joker off instead of the guys who actually had something to do. My understanding in the background with. Um, I wouldn't call it invading, but just walking into the Capitol building last January. <laughs> Hold on, bro. They, they opened those doors from the inside. They straight opened them and let them in. Yeah, there was no like, keeping them out. Whoever yeah, doesn't want to watch, that's their own yeah. problem. But everything yeah. was on video. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, yeah. it was. It was. I don't want to get down the... Can, <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't want to either. I'm just saying. I don't want to get down the black <laughs> helicopter road. But yeah, it was, it was highly funny, suspect man. the way that they just let Yo, that happen. Everything was so, visible. Like... Yeah. Cameras were everywhere. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Like, end of discussion. <laughs> it's <Yeah>. crazy. <laughs> yeah. I'm still shocked that they even got away with all the lying. Like, yo, everybody saw everything. What is going on? <laughs> I'm going to need to check that clip. That's going to be funny. Oh, my God. So let's figure out where Richard's going to go, and let's start to – Let's start to sh- well, show. Well, Odyssey is good there. because yeah. they – every time, like you said, I stream, they catalog it damn near instantly. So – yeah. Um, it's it's good if anybody wants to see how Odyssey works versus somebody that streams a lot, you can check out my channel on there because all my stuff is there. So awesome. it, it works is the point. I know? think all of our stuff is too, but the captain put it into the wrong email address um, oh, for the account, <laughs> so I can't manage it. And I keep I've told them for the last nine months, dude, go in there. All they want you to do is send an email to them from the email it's connected to to fix it. And done. he still hasn't fucking done it, man. So I can't. So I'll get on his ass. I'll make him do it, and then we'll do more over on. You have to sit him down and walk him through it, man. That's right. Let me. Like, let me hear it. Hold you on, just hold on, in and I'll do it. Let me just stand. Right. On shoulder. <laughs> you just log in. I'll take care of it for you. Remote login. Yeah. Um, I don't want to focus on too much of this stuff because I I want to focus on how bullish. It is for the community. I mean, did you see yesterday at its all-time high? Hex was up 40% yesterday. Yeah. 40%. What? P- yes. Nice. People yeah, are I, I getting just, it, man. I'm just yeah. stopping to... I don't look at chart anymore. 
Yep. I mean, it doesn't matter for us. We're states. Yeah. Before, so. Yes, Dorsey. I'm trying to get to it, bro. I'm trying to get to it here. <laughs> so, uh, it, yeah, join hands to form a zip line, not a drum circle, you hippies. <laughs> <laughs> and for everyone that wants a drum circle, you can join me. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> Oh All right. God. Oh, it is our April. So April helps manage our discourse stuff. So um, she's she when you see discourse posting in Telegram, that's April. And she's such a sweetheart. She's so much nicer than I would be. And I'm glad because uh, I'm my kids. I'm even rough with my kids because I'm 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 fair, but I'm very, very stern with my kids. And but my kids are very, very well behaved. Um, so I'm not the. I'm not the, uh, let's just say I didn't reverse roles with my wife. My wife is very much the tender hearted, loving mother. And I'm the, you better get your shit together, kids. <laughs> no but I think it, 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 it raises polite adults. I didn't say weak adults, but polite and meek and meek doesn't mean weakness guys. It means strength under, uh, under, under power, um, strength under, um, Calmness, right? Sure. That it's exactly it. It's 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 being able to restrain the strength and the power that you have. Knowing when to pull the trigger is the most important thing in battle. Period, and that applies at every level. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you're way behind. That's it. Was like 15 minutes I know, ago. I'm trying to catch up now. <laughs> <laughs> I laughed at that there. 15 minutes ago. Bro. Oh, that is funny. That is funny. <laughs> that was right when you were talking about. Uh, all the stuff with uh, RG earlier. This was, that was what, yeah, a long time ago. I love it. Uh, but yeah, um, so look, I think uh, what's cool about the Vegas event is that a lot of people get to meet these online personalities and then they get to see that, yo, some of these guys are really who they are online. Like, I really who I am online in person. You ask anybody that's met me, they'll tell you, yeah, that motherfucker's crazy. Only then he hasn't, he has a face. And I do have a face, yes. I'm not uh, sleepy. The Always sleepy hollow guy. Man. What's mm -hmm. the name of the sleepy hollow guy? <laughs> uh, I don't remember. I could have told you if you didn't ask. If, yeah, if you right. hadn't asked, I probably could have told it, you. It was right there. I should have said uh, that. But yeah. Anyways, yeah, I got a head. <laughs> so I would like to talk about Hedron. I'm officially endorsing it. Bro, You've heard it today, guys. I'm March 10th, 2022. Dude, look at the chart. <laughs> I know I'm officially endorsing it. So I was waiting. Um, I got, I mean, I, I said a lot of positive things for the last couple of weeks about it. Wales and big pep both confirmed to me the code looks good, but I don't know how you don't get some form of endorsement when the freaking OA claims the uh, claims right. its token. Right. So yeah, for those I like to follow. Sure. Yep. You know what I, mean? I guess, I, I guess the OA will emerge and stick. It's own like, I'm a big fan of doing my own research. I ain't waiting for no man to tell me what to fucking do. That shit is crazy. I yep. do not understand people with that frame of thought. But Ichabod hey. Crane, thank you. There sorry. you go. Yeah. Ichabod, Ichabod Crane. Crane. Boom. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. No, no, no. I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I used to love that story when I was a kid, too. Gory ass shit. <laughs> yeah, it was. Oh, man. The, the animated? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it was. It was dark. Yeah, it was good stuff, man. Good stuff. Uh, yo, when I was like uh, five or something, it was like 1989, whenever Batman came out, I went to the movie theater to see that thing. A five-year-old going to see a Tim Burton movie. Oh, yeah. Is that right? <laughs> How dark right? is that shit? <laughs> That's it. Yo, Tim Burton's a pretty dark dude. You guys yeah. know who Tim Burton is? Oh, yeah. He's yeah. super dark. I have no uh, idea. Nightmare uh, Before Christmas? I mean, that is yeah. that comes from that's a like, pretty demented that, mind, bro. You don't yes. just write a story like that, like, nah. unless you got some some problems. Of, uh, you're a tortured yeah. artist of some sort. Yes, something else. So going on. back to Hedron, I think Maddie opened up the door for Hedron. Laugh out loud. <laughs> you know what I think? I think Maddie secretly likes Hedron, and it's his way of promoting Hedron. That's what I think. Because... Because it's you can't hate Hedron. You can't hate the free coins that do absolutely nothing but enhance your ecosystem. I'll tell so you I what. Think, if that's the case, that's ingenious. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Maddie, yeah, because it worked really well. You, brother. <laughs> yeah, it you, worked brother. really well. You got everyone talking about Hedron, man. Way <laughs> to go, man. That was that was brilliant. Yeah, it's only a positive for the system. I yeah, mean, maybe he's a marketing genius. As, as 
crappy as we, some of us might think it is, because uh, I'll tell you, you know, the idea of encapsulated stakes isn't something that tickles my pickle much either, but it is what it is. You know, there's it's nothing not something and I, I like the idea of being able it. to transfer them. That is a big deal. Right, right, right. I mean, here's the thing, you know, technically you can do the same thing with hex, but keys would be compromised. So that's the only thing. But what happens if the platform is compromised? Open C or whatever. <laughs> I don't know anything about NFTs, but you get my point. <laughs> Burn put nipples in the back. Yes, he did. <laughs> hey, did you guys hear that uh, he might be coming back? Uh, what's his name? Um, Michael Keaton? Michael Keaton might be coming back as Batman. What? Yeah, they're talking about it. Get out of here, right? It's like seven. Yeah, even though they just released the new one. Yeah, yeah. Like there are there are many uh, Batman stories uh, that are not in his prime, where he's just old and getting oh, back. You're right. So, so you're there right, are, there are right, really great right. stories. Yeah, I don't right. have my Batman mug. Ah, God damn it, it's done. No, but you're right though. I, I forgot about those. <laughs> yeah, love Batman. Sorry, I started. I totally derailed the conversation by pulling that. I just like that. I like that thing they put that up there. <laughs> I don't even remember what we were talking um, about. So, well, that's Ed basically Cottle the says show. He's, he's getting allergic yeah. to all the sacks. He's got a sack <laughs> allergic. He's sack <laughs> allergic. Like and that. that's one thing I like about Hedron is yeah. no he's, Alex just said, I'm going to enrich all hexagons. I'm going to give them all free coins. And look at the damn chart when, when you do that. I'm not if, even going to tell you. I looked at I looked at um i looked at all of if i were to mint i didn't mint any of my stuff i claimed it all um it just sat there i'm gonna probably mint right before i unstake but yeah. i'm looking at all that i'm like man yeah, with this new pump that it just had i'm and yeah it but think about it all-time high that's a lot of free money that just, think that just about it me. there's so much that people can dump and they they just won't yep. because <laughs> They're people that are staking. Are well yep. We know what value is, and we're holding it. So if anyone is out there <laughs> that's making something of a coin, please drop them to T-shirt holders. Thank you. Yeah, yep. thank you very much. Thank you for yep. coming again. Give it to those that it's know a, how markets It's a win-win. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, people think, what happens. sorry to bring it back to this, but Tim Burton did not introduce bad nipples. I double check just in case. <laughs> so the one, the one I of remember that had bad nipples. That's what you decided to fact check us <laughs> yes. on? So I, I remember in Batman Forever, this is where we had the bad nipples and there, there wasn't Tim Burton, was it? Or was it? Or was it him after all? Bro, I'm I, sorry, I thought bro, he I only did. I only. Batman. I thought he only did the the first I care one. About airdrop. Do I get free Batman nipples? No. I don't <laughs> care about it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna hate myself so much if I have to go back on this. Yeah. No, Batman Forever is also from Tim Burton. Ah, yes. goddammit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Goddammit. So you weren't talking here. about the original um, from the Does 80s, it? but the 1990 follow-up. Okay. <laughs> uh, Why, Why Finbear knew that is weird. Right. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, but Finbear is weird. So yeah, I love him, though. He's a good dude. Good dude. Yeah, he's, he's hilarious. Um, My, Michael Keaton was the first one, though, right? Yeah, Walt Kilmer was the one in Forever. Yeah. That's the bad That's nipples. Right. Okay, I'll give you that. <laughs> well, I don't so know, did you did you actually see forever? <laughs> put a, yeah. the captain put a kibosh on okay, so, showing my yeah. nipples on stream. Anymore. Kinetics, can we please get t-shirts with nipples on them? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm. I, I'm that would I'll sell. talk to the I'll talk I'm to the Legion you, no. VC guys. Oh we're, we're trying God. to just be the the supplier of the blanks of the high quality shirts, and they seem to have the print on demand and the the yeah. infrastructure already set up, and they do a really good job with their site. I'd rather work with those guys and just have them with the produce the our merch. merch yeah, that's yeah. a good idea, actually. Just license yeah, out might our as designs well just, and our stuff to them. Yeah, might as well just centralize it because then yeah. they get also well, that's more, their strength. more capital that's not, to spill. To play as we with. all know, that's not my strength, right? Yeah, uh, we all merch that. is not my <laughs> strength. Apparently not, no. So, yes, exactly. <laughs> We're going to so keep you in the financial I, products around. <laughs> why would I, yeah, why would I lean on my weaknesses and try to monetize that when I can just lean on legion vc to do that for me yeah i order stuff from hexmerch.com all the time i love that site kinetics hey, what's up, up from corito stylist love her yeah, shout out freaking to her. awesome she does good stuff I need she to get her is 
smarter than 90% of you hexagons added together. I just want to throw that out there, guys, uh -huh. real quick. So, yeah, and Wait, you're I definitely, the... yes, you're definitely she, in that barrel. You know what no. it is. <laughs> she brings, she brings. I thought you were going to say something different. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were, you were going to give me a compliment. Never nah, no, nah, no. Nah. You don't get compliments, bro. I'll just delete all, myself. All you get is your beard. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> he just took himself off screen. <laughs> is that what <laughs> happened? I'm like, you did it. Yeah, There's an interesting no, thought in the chat about Hedron. People will sell Hedron what? before their hex stake and could pay for fees. Yeah, that's the whole point, bro. I think people don't realize well, that's, what, yeah, what that's Hedron is. Perfect, yeah. I'm not if sure you, I want to do dude, that. Dude, you could literally even even if you don't sell your your T shares, you can literally now just sell your hedron. Look, I never have, have to sell liquidity. any hex. I already never have to sell any hex yeah. thanks to hedron. Period. Exactly. Yeah. Period. <laughs> and a discussion. It's like a real money yep. faucet. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Alex. And yes, thank yes. you, thank Alex. You. You and just well paid my the, mortgage next truck. month, and I didn't have to yeah. sell any hex. Just Thank you, Alex. Paid my rent guys. for the next few months, basically. Yeah. <laughs> so the question perfect. is, what happened? Well, what happened is, is that you got to understand when a project is coming out to become a product, you have to let it do its thing. There was no reason to cover something that didn't need to be covered until it was ready to be covered, right? Because then we're just like everybody else talking about projects. Who wants to talk about yes. projects? Everybody else is talking about projects. I didn't start streaming to talk about projects. So this is why you will never hear me talk about a project. Pulse chain, pulse X, not the same thing. They're literally being built for what? For hex. And the discussion. Yeah. So you yep. can't even compare them. Yep. Right? So I, you know, just gotta say, like, man. Looks like I hurt someone's feelings. And oh, no first way. off, fuck your feelings. And second yes. off. I feel offended. I think that went the wrong way. What I meant to say was <laughs> that's not a that's not a slight to the intelligence of hexagons. I'm just calling Crypto Stylist that smart. She's that's smart, all. Yeah. yeah, she's just that smart. That's yeah, what she sees is. things that most people can't see. Yeah, I'm still a little bit offended. Like if you haven't, <laughs> yo, if you haven't watched her her comparing fashion to oh. virality and crypto, you yes. need to go watch that, dude. You gotta. So I sent that to like five people last week alone. I was like, you're not going to believe this. I actually had someone come to me. He was talking about a music video that he did. And uh, he bought, um, oh, why can't I think of his name? Um, he bought some 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 white Chuck, um, con, um, some Chuck Taylors. Chuck and Taylors. There, was, Chuck Taylors. there were some Chuck Taylors, and they were, they're the, the off-whites. Uh -huh. And I can't remember the guy that used to design. He designed for. He handled a lot of the businesses for Kanye West. Oh, and, I know you're uh, talking about Vogel uh, or something is his name. Uh, I can't remember his name, but I know uh, you're talking about. He just passed or something. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And he got to speak with him personally, and he was filming in those Chuck Taylors, and then he passed away. Yeah, Virgil. Thank you, Virgil, Virgil. Abloh. Virgil, yeah, Virgil Abloh. Abloh. There you go. I knew the last name. I couldn't remember his first name. Yes, thank you, Crypto. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, he actually got to collaborate with him a little bit. I'm actually crypto. I need to get you his music video and get you some of his information. I'm not gonna promise anything good comes from it, but I think you should at least check it out because I I sent him your way to check that out because he's very much up on the fashion and uh, streetwear and how it how it they intersect. So if you claim hedron, Oa will poopy on your front <laughs> <laughs> and light it on fire and Literally. light it on fire and call it fashion. <laughs> <laughs> and then pee on it to turn it off. I love it. Thank you. Thank you, Mafelis. That is correct. Thank you for correcting us. Hedron is not a project, it is a product. Oh, I didn't say in it was Richard... a product. Uh, no, project. I did. I did earlier. Uh, so uh, in okay. in in Richard Hart fashion, you are 100 percent correct. Yeah. Things need to come out when possible. They need to come out as a finished product. <laughs> yeah. Now I gotta like... say, I think it was kind of shitty of people to like be coming at this guy before the thing was even done, you know, like. And this is what I'm talking about. Like, why would you just slander somebody without having any basic information? You know, it was, I was disappointed in seeing some hexagons doing that. I thought we were better than that, but it just so happens that people are going to repeat history. And this is just what we're seeing right now again. That's right. Love you guys. Beardly. Oh, I'll drive. I'll drive. <laughs> <laughs>